Welcome back, everyone, to Chemical React. It's a me, Fusion Form. And over there, like always, my co host, Gorilla Fist. How's it going? And today, we're going to watch episode four of Jujutsu Kaisen. We left off on a very weird ending. Wait, really? We got introduced to a new character. Fusion is iffy about her. <laughs> Doesn't think she's the best girl. There was a womb at the end. Remember the, the baby? Ah, yes, yes. Thing floating in the sky. I was thinking of like the ending of Akira or 2001 Space Odyssey, but with an evil twist, I guess you could say. I don't know. Even to creatures. Something. I, I whatever know. it was. I, I didn't see that coming. related to some coming. Japanese just... folklore that I don't even know. You, you know what? You might be right. Okay, I wouldn't. Well, not much to say here. So, before we go ahead of ourselves, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like our reaction to this series or any of his series. Also, we have a Patreon if you want to support to get raw reaction footage of uh, many catalogs of other animes that we have. We also have a social media. We have a Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. So, if you want to come by and say hello, give us a tweet, or tweet at us about any anime info, much appreciated. And without further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. And three, two one go the curse womb <laughs> yep oh it says someone's gonna die right ah yes i don't know what a wimber, wimber, window is i'm thinking a womb and window i don't know why i mixed them both interesting yeah someone's gonna have to fill me in on this <laughs> okay thank you a wooden bat is enough okay so just a tier list. Yeah, basically. Wow, that's a quite a comparison. <laughs> just run away or die. <laughs> like those I mean, options. When, when you give me when you give me choices like that. <laughs> so we're gonna stand our ground. I get it. She's a stressed mother, right? Uh -huh. But it's too sudden for me to care. If that makes sense, right? I don't think we're supposed to... I mean, I don't think we're necessarily supposed to really care. Oh, it's to add drama, you know? Obviously, he's feeling it. He's gonna punch it, isn't he? No, he's gonna cut it, remember? He got that knife. Yeah, but he seems like the type of guy who punched everything before he cuts it. The boys have returned! <laughs> or, or one. At least it lets it pet them, right? I was expecting <laughs> to bite him into that typical trope, you know? Yeah. You can pet the doggo. <laughs> and then the door disappeared. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so random. Good boy. <laughs> the dog. Oh, yeah, the dog loves it. He's like, shit, my compliment, my weakness. I think of this place and I think of uh, Freddy Krueger in the boiler room. Ah, yes. No, fuck you, the no reason. Who, oh, the, uh, what's his name, the Gumi? The main guy. Oh, the hoodie guy, Yuji. Oh, Yuji, yeah, fuck him, like, he has no reason. I agree. <laughs> Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. <gasps> no! <laughs> I care more about the dog than the prisoner. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you don't move, it can't see you, right? <laughs> right, that must be it. It might be a T-Rex. It looks like that Pan's Labyrinth guy with the fingers on the eyeball hands. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. <gasps> what? I wasn't expecting this. Don't worry, it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy really... This did a 180. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, he's got a bird. Gorilla every, thing too? You got every animal known to man. Wow. 
I do like how the fact he's just wrapping up his hand. What? Holy shit! Okay, that's not my ears. It's actually ringing. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going deaf again. Oh. I... <laughs> He, I didn't think he had legs. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I was about to say, no one wants to see that. Wow. Dude. Jesus. His body just ragged all. Oh, uh, and he's knocked out. This is like a god! What in the... Oh, man. <laughs> what? I mean, this is your first time fighting a special grade creature. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. I don't like this. I feel violated already. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, <laughs> I thought it was another what? creature. <laughs> he summons frogs and snakes and wolves and birds. And... Like I said, he has every animal known to man at, the, at his disposal. I didn't expect this from, from the main character. What, to cry and lose his hand and fingers? Well, to cry and, and feel that kind of emotion is a nice change. Oh, it's time to, it's time to run away time to switch oh never mind time to switch like he said <laughs> and now that <laughs> is very scared <laughs> just wait a minute buddy. <laughs> oh did he just regenerate mm. his hand he's angry Yep. <laughs> yep, definitely <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth. That's the vibes I'm getting from this guy. For the creature, at least. This is good. I like this. Oh. Get stomped the F out. The level of like difference is like Dude, he's just he's just toying with the creature now. That's only one finger, right? Uh, two. Here, okay. I'm assuming he gets stronger with each finger, right? Yes, I would assume so. Oh my god! Wow. That's brutal. <laughs> he's. <laughs> What? Oh. oh. Yo. Dude, he's too OP. This was just two fingers. Oh, let me just stick this finger in your hole. Oh no, let me look at this. <laughs> oh, let me oh. stick my finger to get a finger out. Oh, he had one of his fingers. Uh, not a good feeling. I got a bad feeling. Uh, this is strange. Wow, that, uh, that, uh, that demon thing. Freaking OP as hell, dude. Yo, wait, which one? <laughs> the, the, the one that got, the one that sliced, I, I gotta get his name down. But the, the finger guy. And weird when the I say like that. <laughs> Yo, at, at first, you know, with that, that new creature, I was like, dang, that thing's that's strong and then when he took over it's like See, he's even strong you're like by a lot it's not even a competition oh yeah i was like this guy's strong why is he so strong why are they starting this episode off with a strong creature to begin with and it's like you know as soon as he pulled that finger out i'm like oh i see yeah uh, so i i'm under the impression that the guy that's in his body uh -huh. he was a normal like exorcist and then he like discovered ah, the true yes, meaning yes. behind curses and, then, and so i don't know if that corrupted him or if he chose to become evil but 
Yeah, you're, you're onto something. I should have put that together. Like, yeah, because he said the real uh, uh, jujitsu, uh, whatever, the real thing, you know? And he just, yeah, the real and, power. And it's like a shrine, but it looked like he sent everyone to hell. Yes, yeah. it was, a, it was man, the Malevolent Shrine. So, I definitely think he found something when he was still alive. And, I, I, I mean, that's his curse power, from what I can tell. And that's really fucking strong. So, do you think, I know, at the end of the episode, we saw him basically laughing, like, oh, the... Uh... Yuji isn't coming back. Oh, I guess I can do my evil bidding, or is it just gonna be like one of those gags? The next episode happens, and it's like, oh no, I'm back. Or if he sees his friend, he's gonna snap back. Type of deal. God, it's either gonna be snapping back by seeing the friend, or it, he's currently like sulking in his body because he was powerless, and then he's gonna ah, like yes. discover some inner power and then force it back over. We talk about the fact that he lost, and. Although it's kind of expected that he would heal it back with a demon inside of him when he eventually would have switched with him. But still, I wasn't expecting him to lose his hand. I wasn't expecting him to cry. That's uh... Yeah, and typically, you know, they have the, the, the strong mentality and they'll, they'll fight through it. No emotions, friendship, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the fact that he was already like the idea of him actually, he's actually going to die here. And uh, he doesn't want to die is really yeah. refreshing in the in these kind of protagonists yeah i wasn't uh like i say is this refreshing it's uh, i wouldn't say different but it's like you know it's not common that you see actual main protagonists cry and actually be like i'm gonna i'm gonna die like i don't know what to do i don't and then but you know but then obviously he had to fetch that demon creature inside of him that was gonna kick ass i didn't again pretty op demon guy you onto something about him being a former exorcist and right. uh, what's her face? No bar, no bar. I can't say her name, but the the female, she didn't get much to shine. Just used all her nails, and that was. <laughs> I like how she banded. They banded her eyes. Like, what happened to her yeah. eyes? She, uh, she has a cool power, but there's a very bad. Uh, you think she's gonna get like a nail gun as a weapon upgrade or a new weapon? Ah, that'd be kind of cool, right? Cool. Like just shoot it, and yeah, it just follows people or demons. Her her weakness is she she has to have nails, like. The other guy can just summon the, you know, animals. Oh, yes. So. His ability. He can, like, <laughs> I, Yo, I was being, uh, so like, many animals. I was being sarcastic when he said, oh, he can summon all these creatures and every known to man. But, oh, man, you got a frog, snake, wolves. What else? I, I want to see an elephant. A tiger. That's what I want to see. I want to see a dragon. Can you do that? I don't know, maybe we don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know if it applies to actual real life animals or mythical creatures. I mean, he summoned a pretty big snake, so. And uh, last little bit tidbit: Gojo's not to be anywhere seen. The guy with the mask just left on a vacation break. He's on business. On a business trip, apparently. Yeah. But yeah. But I great think... episode. Full of surprises and excitingness. What he said. But to wrap it up, great episode again, and see you to the next episode.